Hello and welcome back or welcome if you're new. If you're new here, my name is Elena and I am the homeschooling mama to three kiddos. Here on the channel, we talk about everything from homeschooling to homemaking, all the things in between. Today is gonna kind of be, I don't know, I guess it would be one of the in-between things. Maybe it goes with homemaking, probably with homemaking. We're gonna talk about our grocery haul. I'm gonna be sharing with you, as you can see from the title of the video, my monthly grocery haul for February. We like to plan um, once a month meals or once a month meal planning. So I try to get all our meals planned out for the entire month. Um, now it doesn't necessarily go in order. Sometimes we switch stuff around. Sometimes we get something extra. Um, it just depends on, on life, really. But I try to do it this way, one, because it saves us money, um, and then two, because we're just out and about less often, we can kind of save, I don't know, you can hear my kids cracking up in the background. <laughs> I'm a mom and this is what life is like here. <laughs> it just makes things run a little bit smoother when we do the month a month grocery. Um, like I mentioned, sometimes we will go out on the, especially in the weekends if we are like craving something a little different, but we try not to we're really trying to be um, good stewards of our money and, and manage our budget correctly. Um, and then along with the once a month grocery meals, what are grocery shopping, what I'll do is a once a month freezer meal to go along with it so that video will be coming out shortly this is a good chance if you're if you're not already subscribed to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss that video if you want to see it i'll go ahead and link another one of our freezer meals um monthly freezer meals that we've done and if you want you can take a look back at our channel and see a couple of the other ones that we've done we've been doing this for a few months now been doing this um, and sharing it for a few months now so if you'd like to take a look at that you can otherwise let's jump into this video this month we went to costco and then we also did a walmart pickup Okay, we'll show you our Walmart pickup really quickly. It wasn't much. It came out to about 50 something. I'll put the price up for you. But we um, ended up doing Walmart pickup because this is the only place I can find this large bag of cereal, um, this brand, and my kids really like it. So we bought um, this, we got that. We got two more orange marmalades. Um, I actually like the Walmart brand because it's the only one that they have that doesn't have, um, it just has sugar, oranges, water, pectin, pectin and citric acid. Sorry, I don't know if that's gonna focus for you, but the other ones have um, high fructose syrup. So we ended up getting this instead. These are gonna be for a freezer meal that we're gonna do, so I got two of those. This is also gonna be for dinner later this month. Um, tortellini, this little bag, um, this little bag I know was $5, <laughs> so I got that. And then when I went to Costco, I saw that Costco had a better price on it. Um, the only difference is this is like um, shelf stable and the ones from Costco need to be refrigerated. So, you know, um, I got a can of beets because we're gonna try to do some um, like fun food for Valentine's Day. So I got some beets to turn our food pink. And then I just got four pounds of the ground turkey. They didn't have any of the three pound chubs available. So, um, and they didn't have any of the 90% lean. So we got four of these 85%. I got one um, little box of this new Chantel's cheese. We use it instead of cream cheese. It tastes exactly the same. Um, one ranch dressing and dip, and then one teriyaki sauce. And then I just got one hand soap right now. And then we got this stir fry veggies. This is gonna be for freezer meals as well. Sweet peas, and then a lactate, um, my, uh, hubby and oldest son and like to have this if they're going to have like a, a ice cream treat or um have something with heavy cheese so we got that and then valentine's fun i got these for my husband um he really enjoyed these last time so we got those and then i bought these again for um these are just cookie cutters for i said we're going to do some fun um, food stuff on Valentine's Day or I'm gonna try to do it. Okay, let me show you. This is just the little Walmart one and then I will show you um, what Costco look like. Okay, Costco is kind of all over but this is the first um, kind of big item that's set apart from things I bought. They, our Costco has like bulk size 
both red flower and underneath is unbleached all-purpose flower so I bought those because we are running low I put them in these big um, containers I, I I've been trying to make Friday our um, like baking day or at least one day a week figure out a baking day where we make our bread loaves and things like that and it go we go through we've been making bread loaves and we've been making pizza dough um, at least pizza dough at least once a month and that alone takes four cups of sugar so or four cups of sugar goodness no four cups of pizza of flour oh man <laughs> so I, we go through flour pretty quickly is what I'm trying to say. And let's start with the freezer stuff or cold stuff so that I can get that put away um, quickly. We like to get these individual yogurts. Um, my kids like to eat them. Really, my youngest loves to eat them. And I feel like it's a better snack than like chips or something like that Some, sometimes. So we'll eat this. This is non-fat Greek yogurt with the fruit on the bottom. This is the kind they had. Sometimes they have a different variety. Um, but this is what they had this time. So that's what we got. We also got some um green beans and then we needed more fruit for smoothies and then i got a bag of meatballs that's going to be for freezer meals and then we got some um chicken nuggets they only had the dino nuggets right now and so we got those i bought milk um you'll see i bought this milk and both shelf stable milk because my husband's been having smoothies at work and taking milk with him so we're going through it a little bit faster so we got one um there's, there's like three in here to put in the fridge, but I didn't think I could fit two um, packs of these. I didn't think I could fit six things of milk in my fridge. So we just got one and then we got, I'll show you later, the shelf stable. I bought um, barbecue sauce. We're gonna have, um, this is gonna go with one of the um, meals that we're gonna have later this month. Everything's gonna go with meals for this month. <laughs> but um, this is the Kinder's Organic Barbecue Sauce and it tastes so good. So we've already gone through ours. So I got two more of these. This was an impulse purchase. I bought, um, these are chili with beans and I just bought it um, to have. We don't have a huge like prepper type pantry or anything like that, but I bought these as a like a just in case just not just in case of um, things running out, but just in case we get sick and we need a fast, easy meal, or just in case mom doesn't want to cook that night. And this is something easy. Now, of course, my youngest who doesn't like beans will not go for this, but the rest of the family could do this. So we got one of those. I also bought um, some breakfast sausage. This is gonna be for freezer meals as well. Um, and then ham, we have been going through this so quickly. My kids have been eating a lot of ham and cheese sandwiches and things like that, so we got that. I bought this beef for stew um for valentine's day i want to make my husband um nopales con carne which is like a cactus and, and meat dish and so i purchased this there this was the only pack they had it was 6.49 a pound and this is a little over three pounds so it came out to 20 dollars um i bought another thing of power greens we like to put these on the dehydrator and make our own green powder two bags of quinoa and then two bags of bell peppers because the bell peppers are going to be for freezer meals as well one bag of salad we're actually my husband and i are going to eat this tonight um so and we, we may have a little bit left for somebody to have a salad during the week but honestly um it's it's we can go through this pretty quickly so that's going to be um for dinner tonight and then as well as pizza Today happens to be my um, youngest son's birthday and that's what he requested for dinner was um, Costco pizza. So we got a salad for mom and dad to go with it. I also got some more eggs. I have egg whites, usually I buy eggs and egg whites at the same time, um, but we still have some egg whites. So I just got some eggs. I don't think I showed you cheese. We got mild cheddar cheese. Um, I didn't do an Azure order um, for the end of January, beginning of February. And so we are running out of the cheese that we get from there. Um, so I had to get one more. And then I also got sliced cheese. I bought bread. Now I know I just said that we have been making our own bread, but we are going to do some couple of freezer breakfast meals. Um, so I wanted just to have some already ready bread just to go make it easier on myself that day. So I have that. Um, I also got some more cuties. These are great to throw in our backpack and stuff and my kids snack on them, which is fantastic. Another thing of garlic, because if you've seen me cook, you know I put like a quarter cup of garlic in everything. I thought I got three bunches of bananas, but I only see two. I wonder if one's hiding in the car. I should go check. <laughs> I also got these um, 
plant protein shakes. This is the chocolate, the Oregon brand. I like this brand. They're great for my husband and I to just kind of grab and throw in our bags and stuff. Um, me, if I'm running out errands with the kids or my husband for work. We also bought this um, guacamole. It's in 16 individual little packs here. So I throw some in the freezer and then um, we have guacamole ready to go. I also bought a bag of pistachios. This is like a treat for my husband and I when we do date nights at home. We snack on pistachios. It's just our thing. So we had that. I also bought some um, more vitamins. We were running low on our B complex and our fish oil. So I just got these this time. Um, we're going to try out this ramen soup. My um, oldest and I like ready-made soup. It looked okay. Ingredients really, they're not the best, but I mean, most prepared foods are not going to be the best. So this was on sale though for a little less than $8. So I thought for maybe like less than a dollar a cup, um, or about a dollar a cup, we would, we would try it out. But then I also bought these rice ramen, um, noodles. So when we make our own kind of noodle soup, or also I've been adding this, um, instead of rice sometimes to our dishes, our Asian style dishes. So we got those as well. Let's talk some more snacks. We got tortilla chips. They didn't have the organic ones this time, so we just went with this. Um, Chex Mix and a bag of Doritos. Those are just kind of a staple in our house. My youngest requested Chex Mix this time instead of veggie sticks, so we went ahead and got that. Here is, I know it's on the floor, and I know I have to sweep. It's life with kids. So I got some almond milk here. This is the shelf stable one that I purchased. It's just the Kirkland brand. I had to start putting stuff on chairs because I ran out of room. <laughs> So here we have corn, here we have corn tortillas. I bought some spaghetti, um, it's a favorite of ours. We ate a lot of pasta, I feel like, this last month, so we needed to restock, so I bought some spaghetti. But also, I ate a ton of peanut butter while I was on the Daniel Fest, so we needed to get some more peanut butter. And then um, I also ate a ton of salsa, <laughs> so we got more um, of the Costco salsa. This is really good, I, we really like this um, one. And then we got two things of flour tortillas because these are the tortillas of choice around here and so I kind of have to like moderate how many I put out at a time. So I got two. I'm going to throw one in the freezer and then just keep one out for now. And then we also got the variety kind of um, pasta just for a change for me. My, my family would probably go ahead and eat spaghetti all the time but I like a little variety sometime with the pasta. So we got this one as well because I think I think we were completely out of pasta. So that was it for our Costco haul. I know that this was a really, this was a really big one for us. It was over $400. I will put the price up for you um, if you're curious and want to know. This was a really large haul for us. The flour we were running out of, so we needed to grab another one. Um, so that was a bigger size purchase as well as some of the impulse impulse purchases that I got. Um, so the chili beans were like about $9, I think. And then the organ protein was on sale. So I like to grab that when that happens and that wasn't necessarily on the list. Um, and then, you know, things are just adding up these days. And so <laughs> we had to stock up on quite a few things and hopefully we don't make very many stops during the month. This will be it because like I said, it was a big was a big chunk of our um, grocery budget. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much, really, honestly. It means so much to us. We really appreciate you taking your time out and spending time with us. Um, if you're not a subscriber, like I said, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification down below. All the good things so you don't miss any of our inspiration amongst the chaos. Thanks again for watching.